Good morning. My name is Bill, and I work at the Jung Garden Center in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, which is also home of Jimmy the Gronghog. And welcome to this segment of Everything Green. Um, I work specifically outdoors in the nursery section, which encompasses trees that are grown for shade, um, fruit-bearing trees, uh, ornamental trees such as uh, crab apples, um, plants that produce edible fruits, uh, the evergreens, and then the deciduous shrubs. Uh, there seems to be some confusion uh, when we have uh, customers coming in looking for a sugar maple or a red maple. And they often are confused by the, by the two. So I'm, I'm going to talk about what I call the maple mix-up. And I'll preface this by saying that all red maples are not sugar maples, and all sugar maples do not turn red in the fall. Uh, but let's look first of all at uh, maples as a whole. Uh, they belong to the genus entitled Acer. And that's the, a genus name that refers to all maples throughout the world. And also there are some shrubs that fall into the maple family. Uh, there's about 132 varieties of maples throughout the world. Today we're going to look at two varieties within that genus. We're going to look at the Acer rubrum, which is the red maple, and the Acer sacrum, which is the sugar maple. And I have... Uh, the red maple on my left and the sugar maple on my right. And how do we distinguish between uh, a sugar maple and a red maple? Uh, one of the easiest ways is in spring before the trees have uh, uh, foliated. You'll notice with the um, red maple, at this time of year it's going to be not as distinguishable, but in early spring you will notice that the branches and the twigs and the buds will be a burgundy to reddish hue. In, com in comparison, the um, sugar maple will have an amber glow to it. And if you put the trees side by side, they'd be very, very noticeable. You would definitely see a red hue versus an amber hue uh, between the two maples. Um, another way to uh, distinguish, again, is in spring. Uh, and I'll come around and show you where this, this would occur. The buds, where the leaf comes out, would be a, a flat uh, shape, sort of like a button. And it will be right here, at the, say, wherever the leaf is, there's going to be a bud. On the sugar maple, they would be a more elongated and pointed shape. And again, they would be the amber color versus the red. Okay? Um, one of the easiest ways to determine the two is when they do have leaves. Okay, and we'll start with the um, Acer sacrum. This is the Apollo sugar maple. On a sugar maple, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defoliate one leaf here. Okay, and um, the, the sugar maple has five lobes. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and in between each lobe, you'll notice there's a valley. It's very much in the shape of a U. And if you think of U as in sugar, and that would be an easy way to, re to remember that, okay? In comparison to the red maple, I'm gonna take another leaf off here, all right? The, the red maple has three lobes, one, two, three, or you could go one, two, three. And notice between each lobe, the valley is like a V-shaped versus the U. And I'll hold the leaves up for comparison. Something else you may also notice is that the sugar maple is a much larger, more uh, soft edged leaf versus the red maple, which is a smaller leaf and a much more jagged or pointed shape. The other way that you can uh, identify uh, sugar maple or from a red maple is in the bark itself. And unfortunately, this doesn't happen until uh, the trees become much more mature. Uh, the sugar maple will have what um, uh, many um, horticulturists will call a rope effect. You'll see uh, long uh, lines of bark, much like you would see a rope, and it's, it's uh, um, a rough feeling. The, the uh, red maple here uh, is, is harder to distinguish because it carries, uh, takes on characteristics of different trees. Um, some red maples will have a very rough, almost patchy 
looking bark. Uh, some red maples will have um, a smoother bark. And so of, of all the ways to determine which is a red maple and a sugar maple, using the bark is probably the, the most inconclusive way that you can determine. And so uh, I would caution uh, customers to uh, look at, at the trees in the spring and also in, in the leaf. And some other interesting things about the uh, maples, I'll uh, we'll talk about the, um, the red maple first of all. Uh, generally they will grow from anywhere from 40 to 60 feet tall and they will have about a 40 foot diameter uh, when they're at maturity. They are native to Wisconsin and they are also the national symbol of Canada. If you have ever seen the Canadian flag, it has a huge maple leaf on it and it is a red maple. If you look at it, it has the three distinct lobes and um, it's really a neat symbol. Uh, the red maples are found in quite a large area from uh, eastern Canada all the way west into about the center part of Canada, down to Minnesota, all the way out to Maine. Um, as far as the, the, some interesting things about the, and some of the, the uh, more popular varieties of, sh of red maples are the red sunset, uh, the autumn flame, which is what we have here this morning, uh, the scarlet sentinel, and the brandy wine. And those are some of the more popular uh, red maples. And we carry those here at the John Garden Center as well as many other red maples. Uh, some th interesting things about the sugar maples, uh, they're a little bit larger. Uh, they'll grow anywhere from 60 to 75 feet tall. Um, and they have about a 40 to 50 foot diameter when they're at maturity. They have also native to Wisconsin. And they just happen to, the, one of the sugar maples, the Green Mountain sugar maple, is the state tree of the state of Wisconsin. Um, they are found pretty much uh, from the southeast coast of the United States up the east coast to the uh, area where Maine would be and as far west as Minnesota. And they go as far south as Tennessee and Missouri. So they have a little smaller area uh, of distribution compared to the red maples. Some of the more um, popular varieties of the sugar maples are the Apollo, which I brought this morning. The columnar, which people don't think of as a sugar maple, it's a variety that um, has a much narrower diameter, but is still sugar maple. The fall fiesta, and then of course the green mountain sugar maple. Um, an interesting fact, um, one of the questions we get here at the, at the garden center is, what maple tree does not have any of the little helicopters or um, seed pods? Well, I'm here to tell you that all maples have some type of seed pod. Uh, so. Um, there's yet to be a, a variety developed without a seed pod. And if you think about it without a seed pod, there would not be propagation. So, um, so that is my presentation for this morning. Um, I invite you here to um, the John Garden Center here in Sun Prairie. Uh, we have very knowledgeable staff out in the nursery uh, who are willing to assist you to select that perfect tree for you. Thank you.